I'm Chuck Joyner, and this is Mac Voices TV. Yes, I've been on hiatus from the video side for a little while, but that's all changed and we're back and plan to stay right now. To get us back on track, I thought I'd give you a little sampling of a device that any Mac owner can use to enhance their system, enhance their productivity for not a whole lot of money, and maybe actually make use of some old hardware that you have lying around from the days before the iMac or uh, maybe even since the iMac. So with that, let's go to the MacBook Pro. This is the screen of my MacBook Pro 17-inch. And just to make sure that you know there are no tricks going on behind the curtain or uh, anything is being pulled on you, I have the system profile or window up showing exactly what machine this is and its capabilities. And I'm going to leave that up for at least the first part of the demo. So with that, I am going to pull up my system preferences and dive right into displays and show you the arrangement. And of course, this is something that if you have a MacBook Pro or any laptop with a secondary output for video, you're not going to be terribly surprised to see. Uh, you have the main screen, which is the, the MacBook Pro, and you have the secondary screen, which is the monitor that is connected by the DVI out. But let me show you something now that you haven't seen before, uh, especially on a MacBook Pro 17 inch. And that is three monitors connected. How are we doing this? We're using a little thing, little box called the multi display adapter. It's a USB 2.0 device from Otherworld Computing. It is a piece of cake to install. Uh, comes with an installer CD. You launch a disk image, run the installer, uh, which does require a restart, and you're ready to go. The box itself is very small. It comes with a couple adapters for VGA and DVI. So depending on exactly what it is that you're going to connect it to, uh, you can you can handle it. And then there's a USB mini to standard USB 2.0 connector that plugs into any open USB port on your Mac. And as soon as you do, exactly what happens uh, that you just saw happens for you. You get an extra monitor in your display panel to arrange and set up any way you want. As you can see, this one uh, I have set up the dis multi display adapter monitor is on your left. The regular DVI connected monitor is on your right, and that'll become important just a little bit later in the uh, in the demo. But for right now, as you can see, I have menu meters running in the menu bar, and there is virtually no significant overhead going on up there. And that's all there is to it. I now have three monitors that I can adjust independently on their display resolutions, so I can drive it at whatever those monitors can handle. So let's take a look at how this works in the real world as far as actually getting something done and using those secondary monitors. For the second part of the demo, I wanted to let you see exactly how well the multi-display adapter works in an actual working environment. And of course, that means putting a little stress on it. So I have opened up three different videos uh, that we can start up and reposition. The first one is one uh, Macworld video by our buddy Chris Breen, and as you can see, I'm going to take that and move that over to this monitor. The second video uh, is a WWDC keynote, which I will fire up and let run, and I'm going to leave that in the center monitor. And then the third one is an episode of Screencasts Online by our buddy Don McAllister. So I'm going to fire that up and I'm going to move that over to this monitor. And as you can see now, we have three videos running using the multi-display adapter on a MacBook, MacBook Pro 17-inch. And the all they all look good. What you will find is that if we had the audio up, and of course you're not going to do that with three because it gets a little confusing, uh, the video running in the, uh, the left display, which is the one driven by the multi-display adapter, is just a little off sync with the, the audio is a little off sync with the video, so it's not quite perfect. Uh, the one being driven through the DVI port on your right, Chris's video, 
syncs up just perfectly. So what's this mean to you as a user? This means that you're probably going to want to use uh, the monitor driven by the multi-display adapter for something a little more static. Email would be fine. Even web surfing would be fine because, of course, you're not having to queue up any video or anything like that uh, specifically. It's just uh, a matter of, you know, what it can handle. And again, as, as you can hopefully see from this video, which is not the, exactly the best way to show it, but it's the easiest way to show the ability to move things around, um, it works very, very well. And it's so easy to move things back and forth between uh, between monitors. Um, and of course, I've I've optimized each one for the particular monitor I was planning to place it in. One quick note, uh, as far as the presentation goes here, if you're wondering how I'm doing this by not being at the Mac, I am using back to my Mac. I'm I'm remoted in and screen sharing the 17 inch. So that's how I'm able to manipulate things without being in the shot. So that gives you an idea of just how well this works in practice. But I do want to give you one other aspect uh, to fully appreciate and understand what's going on here. For this part of the demo, I'm going to continue to use the WWDC Keynote video. I've pulled up uh, the displays pane so you can confirm that there are still the three monitors connected. You'll see why in a minute. I especially want to call your attention, though, to the menu meters running up in the menu bar again. Uh, and I'll show you why, because this, I think, is important for you to understand what, how the, dis the, uh, the multi-display adapter is doing what it's doing. So I'm going to start the video, again, without the audio playing. And you can see that uh, we start to pick up a little CPU activity, as, as you would expect. And that's going to be it, because after all, this is a very large movie. I'm going to move it next to the monitor that was on your right, which is the one driven by the uh, DVI adapter. And as you can see, and we'll let it play for a minute, in fact, I should move it the whole way out of frame, uh, you'll see that, if anything, maybe the activity drops just a little bit in menu meters, but it definitely is not taking any more. Uh, that's because it's using the onboard video capabilities of the 17-inch MacBook Pro. But now I'm going to reach over and drag it back across to the multi-display adapter video, and now it's completely in that window. Now, if you look at the menu meters again, you're going to see a notable spike in CPU activity. That's because it is now engaging the CPU to drive that particular monitor. Again, this does not mean that it's a bad thing at all. It just means that anything you're running in that monitor is going to be chewing into your CPU. If you're using a stat, again, if you're using a static window, if you're using, say, a, a Twitter client like TweetDeck or Nambu or Twitterific or whatever, and you want a, a monitor just dedicated to that or to instant messaging clients where there's not a lot of activity, it's not going to make much difference to you. If you were trying to drive video or something of a dynamic nature, you may want to consider putting it back in the DVI equipped monitor or keeping that as your main screen activity. Uh, so again, I will move it back from the secondary display to the center. And in a minute, you will see the menu meters activity start to drop back off a little bit. Yeah, there it goes. So again, take this as an indication of what is ideal for this. Uh, if you need to have three videos running, hey, that's great. Uh, it, and it definitely does work a little better on some of the other machines. I've run this on an iMac 24 inch, and I've also run it actually on a MacBook 13 inch. And it does just as well here. Again, it's a little bit limited by the CPU if you're going to put something display intensive in the, uh, the display that's driven by the video adapter. Otherwise, this is a great way to add second, third, fourth monitors to any Mac system for an extremely affordable price. So that's the Mac Voices TV look at the multi-display adapter USB 2.0 from Otherworld Computing. It's a great little device. It uh, is about 99 bucks, and there's just no cheaper way to add a second monitor to your computer, especially if you have an existing monitor or an old one sitting around the house, or two, or three. 
you can add video to any Mac that has a USB port. At least that's what I found. Uh, it is, as I said before, brain dead simple to install and use this very effectively and increase your productivity. And perhaps best of all, it gives monitor expansion to those of us who do not have Mac Pros, which have ba bays for video cards and uh, the hardware expansion. So, again, 99 bucks, other world computing. I'll have links in the show notes to everything here so you can go right to it. Until the next time, this is the Talk of the Mac community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. Thanks for watching Mac Voices TV. Mac Voices TV is part of the Mac Voices Group and a member of Mac Level 10.